Hi, good morning. How are you? This is Dean. Actually, it's good evening. Okay. Um, Happy New Year. It's 2021. Okay. Let it be a good year for everyone. Okay. Actually, 2020, I know it's very, very difficult year. It was a very difficult year for everyone. But it made you learn to cherish the goodness of it and the, pos the positive part of it, okay? Um, 2020, we have the COVID and we have these political issues in our uh, country in the in United States. A lot of things happened, okay? Before I would get too far, I would thank all my subscribers. I'm not gonna be, be mentioning everyone, okay? I would be thanking personally everybody, okay? To have stuck by me. And my subscription are going up, but I still need to, to have some views though, so that I can get monetized. But that's not my preference. My priority is, is to have good subscribers and i really enjoy talking to you guys okay and please share if you feel like my videos is helping people okay and uh please comment and um if you have the notification bell there if you can hit that so that you can be prompted uh, with my new videos coming but i don't have a lot of videos so otherwise it's going to be a good year, 2021, okay? How did I overcome all those things that's going around in, during those times, the 2020? How did I overcome? That's the main topic today, okay? Now, this morning when I got up, New Year's Day, okay? We feel we did not have any plans, but we feel like just relaxing, right? So I started my, my uh, day with a prayer. And then I started looking at videos and YouTube as the same old, same old routine every day that I do. And I said, I refuse to do this. It's New Year's Day. I have to have something going on with my family. So I told my husband, I said, I got to get up there and then starting throwing some stuff. I started rolling some vegetable based uh, turon or egg rolls. So I made about 23 and then it and then made more. And I said, I'm going to be calling the family. I'm going to start making more and I'm going to have a random get together. So I called his family. And I said, we're going to be there at one o'clock and I have some food for the whole family and start calling people. Of course, I started cooking. We went there and we had a good turnout and they had, we had a blast. Okay. Now I realized something. 2020 has been really difficult. Okay. It's full of negativity and uncertainties in our lives, but do you do you uh, do you realize what happened there how did everybody overcome that because we were all in our houses we seldom see other people because of the social distancing who are the ones or what happened there that made that life of yours um livable it's the family, correct? And all your friends that are, that has been your friends for a long, long time. It's really your family that made you, made you stay strong. God is telling us something that we have, we have really lost that structure of a family. We've been so di diverted to a lot of stuff like our technologies, all the finances, all the monies, all our work. And we do not have time for our family. COVID made that, it made us stronger as a family. And we realized that we depend on each other, family and friends. Friends are considered to be family to me, okay? I don't have a very good, um, a big, big family. Anyway, 
So, that's how we overcome 2020. And 2021 is coming. And we're so uncertain that it, there's going to be difficulties because we have still have really not, we still have not really resolved our issues, especially with our political st status. And there's a lot of scary thoughts and controversy in life that can sometimes impair a person from being happy. But do not let those negativity overcome your happiness as a person. Because as I have said, the happiness should come from within. Make do and make do of what you have right now and look at the positive aspect of everything as a whole. Sometimes you would not even really realize that when you are in deep trouble, okay? But I know you're created to be strong. As long as you put your faith in God, actually. So I'm preaching right now to you. I never have been really close to God, honestly till this COVID had hit us. If this was done intentionally, you know what? It's a failure. It's really a failure. If this is done intentionally to break a nation, to break a family structure, they were wrong because they did not succeed because the family is so intact right now because people can die any time as long as they are with their loved ones okay so do not let the, the negativity put you down okay so as long as you have people around you and your friends and your family you're gonna be strong now um as far as my plans for the future for 2021 i really do not have any plans Philippines, right now with the implementation of the rules and regulation, is overkill. I do not understand that at all. I do not know. I am very, very confused about how they do it, you know. Sometimes to me, it's so irrational because they can change their rules in a heartbeat without even thinking sometimes. I do not know if they're even thinking about how it can affect the whole economy to shut down everything in a heartbeat, Okay. I do not know if people or the, the country or the government is making money out of this. I do not know, but I do not care. I really do not. I only, I only care about my family and my friends. Um, to me, as long as we are honest people, okay? And uh, what I probably would do, if in case something happened, because we have enough land, maybe I, I, we're blessed with a little bit of piece of property. We will be self-generating in case I told my family, if this is getting worse and then you're not able to work and not generate income, I said, go to the farm and start farming and start raising animals. And I opened my, my, my area. I have about 3.5 hectares in our prop, in our area. So my family can go there and use that property. I don't care. And all my family and my friends that's working for me, those people that is working for me, I told them to start really doing like gardening and self-generate income, you know. They can actually just uh, raise some hugs there and raise whatever they can raise and be able to survive. So if things get worse, I still have a place to stay. A place where I can farm and uh, maybe survive but otherwise do not be worrying too much about the future what can happen to you I I just pray that uh, it's not gonna get worse okay so um, if it's gonna get worse what can I do I don't have control over that so let God control over that I know if you're gonna pray and pray God is always gonna be um, he is going to be the one who controls over all our lives, okay? And I hope it's going to be a good 2021 and make that as a good one, 
all right there's gonna be no perfect gear there's gonna be issues but we'll overcome that with love okay thank you guys and may you'll have a good new year bye bye